here we go we have the outcast 6s exb blx extreme bash vehicle here we go we have the outcast 6s exb blx extreme bash vehicle all right that being said let's go ahead and show you what she looked like all right so since this vehicle's been out for quite a long time we're not going to go through an entire boxing of it um what we're going to do is i'm just going to show you what comes in the box and then we're going to show you pictures and i'm going to charge up some batteries replace the connectors to from ec5 to uh, xt 150s that i normally use in all my rigs and then we're gonna take it out for a rip all right so this is what comes in the box you get the dx3 transmitter um feels nice in my hand foam steering wheel uh, the trigger is pretty decent uh spring rate or come back together features on here you have the on button right here you have the throttle limiter right here you 50 75 100 you have throttle neutral and reverse or normal and reverse and you have steering normal and reverse also have a battery level indicator here if you're using the uh, spectrum batteries it's good to have but since i'm changing out my ec5 to xt 150s i won't be able to use that feature but for those of you who are going to be using the spectrum batteries this is a good thing for the use it gives you a level when you get down to one it means it's almost close to being drained on the side here you have your avc active vehicle control steering rate um, turn it up turn it down depending on where you're at how you're running if you run street runs i would turn it medium that's just me you have your brake right here you can adjust your brake here much as or less you need to you have your steering right here and you have your throttle trim right here you also have the bind button right here and the channel 3 a b and c, a and b's channel here and it does take four double a batteries i'm going to put some batteries in here soon and like i said again take her out take her for a rip all right what else you get in the package you get the high speed pinion gear and i think this is a 15 tooth pinion gear if not i'll leave a, a description up in the uh, window left or right you also get some shims for your diffs um like i said again i'm gonna take her straight out if i need to shimmer up i will later on but not today it's first run straight the box you also get your uh, multi-tool wrenches here 17 hill uh, 17 millimeter hex wrench here and your wrench for the screws or the nuts that you have on there you also get a few allen wrenches here so that's hand handy if you don't have any tools then you can use these uh, starting off i do suggest getting your own tools you can go cheap you can go expensive or you can go medium depends on you you also get the instructor manual is for the talent exb and for the outcast exb success it says all the information you're ever going to need about your vehicle, uh, the ESC, how to bind, how to set your endpoint for throttle, neutral, and reverse. So this is a good manual you read. It gives you a description of when to do your maintenance on your diffs, tires, and, uh, and your shocks. So if you pick one of these up, guys, I suggest you read this front and back. It's good information for you. You also get your technical pack. Uh, again, tell you how to rebuild your shocks here. And it's an exploded view of everything that's in here, everything that you might need, all part numbers and everything else. So again, this is a good one to have posted up on your wall. And this is normally for about most of the Armist 6S lineups. You have about everything except for the chassis. It's a little bit different for most of them, but yeah, this is good information too. And then you have your warranty packet here. Keep this in handy guys, in case something goes wrong. Don't forget to register your vehicle on the horizon or armor so that way if something does go wrong you can contact them they should be able to help you out with uh, information or parts if something goes bad after you run it for the first couple of times it also gives you um information about the lipos and high speed pinion gear for maximum performance um they do not suggest you run the high speed pinion gear on off-road it's only for smooth surfaces but you take your chance guys like i do i normally use like a 14 tooth pinion gear it's close to the high speed pinion gear on the off road just to get that maximum sheet on 4S so I can do what I want to do. And you also get a bunch of stickers. Again, Army does provide lots of stickers. And so far, I haven't used them, but if I do need to use them, I have extras. So 
that's everything that comes in the box, everyone. Um, right now, what I'm gonna do, you're gonna see some pictures popping up here in the screen here pretty soon that shows you the inside, the outside, the underneath, the shocks and everything else. Like I said, again, this has been out for quite a long time and I don't need to go over this extensively in details about what's in it and how she runs, so. All right, here we're outside. Uh, like I said, again, I haven't done anything to it yet. She's still stock out the box. I am using a 8,100C milliamp light bulbs. It's a 6S from Huvu. So let's turn her on and see how she, see how she acts. All right. Good servo. I have to adjust that the brakes on that thing, ain't I? Pull the trigger. Yeah. <laughs> she rolling, ain't she? See what she does. Start right out the box. No punch setting or nothing change. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right, if you're gonna keep doing that, we're gonna go inside because I ain't put any shoe glue or wall <laughs> wall deep on you. All right, you can stop that. Okay. Okay, that's why they call you EXB, right? Okay. You keep <laughs> you keep acting crazy now. get too close to the tree line. Something come out and grab her. <laughs> She's a little drifting there, didn't she? Here you go, girl. There's some drifting here in the leaves. There you go. Is the uh, Jambo or the Kronos when I first did them. But. <laughs> Jesus. surprised she did that in the first shot. Normally I wouldn't try that guys, but you know, something told me to give it a shot. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness.
All right, guys, I'm gonna have to cut this now. <laughs> Let me enjoy the rest of this by myself, so. Thanks for watching, and she did a butt skid. Uh, gotta get those roof skids on there, Jesus. Road rash already, huh? Road rash already. So let me bring her in. <laughs> All right, everyone. That's gonna call it. This, that, I'm gonna have to call it quits for now. I'm gonna. Have to enjoy, I want to enjoy her uh, a little bit longer. Uh, I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing I'm doing now. That makes me happy. That makes me smile. That makes me laugh seeing what she does. So, all right, everyone. Here you go. Outcast 6S EXB from Arma, the newest addition to my fleet. Um, like I said again, the Taurus is gonna be my not Big Bertha jumping off ramp. There's gonna be a little hill here. She'll take off that. Do a little flip if she can with those tires. Not, I might switch tires out when I come out here and bash with her. Other than that, this is my main basher now. I'm gonna shoe glue, shoe goo, and drywall taper, uh, and then I'm gonna, and hopefully sometime this weekend I can come back out here and uh, give a little bash session with Big Bertha, see how she handles and everything else. All right, so stay tuned, everyone, for that portion of the Outcast Success EXB. All right, everybody, so if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button, leave a comment, hit the notification bell if you want to see more, and subscribe. Me and the Outcast Success EXB, new addition to my fleet, we're out.